Product launch is a very important phase in every Amazon seller's journey. Lack of market exposure may undermine great ideas and hard efforts or it can rocket a product success in just a few days. Having said that, regardless of a launch plan, an amazing and unique product that answers the market's need is far more likely to succeed than an ill-conceived shot. However, through trial and error, I have discovered that the most effective method for an Amazon product launch includes a mix of relevant keyword research, PPC advertising, and brand awareness initiatives. Sounds like a lot of work? Fortunately, if you have the right direction, it's actually rather simple. Product Evangelist at Sellerapp and I'll be talking about something interesting today. Marketing strategies for new product launches to make sure your product is seen, used and discussed by your target audience. Now let me explain how I go about it. Step 1. Get your products to where they need to go. Working in chronological order, you must first consider how to get your products to the Amazon Fulfillment Center. This has advantages and disadvantages based on your individual needs. However, some major concerns are market entry type. How soon do you need your product to be launched on Amazon? Is your first sale time critical in order to get first to market advantages? Do you have any competitors coming for first place? Time to market might be critical in certain cases and completely irrelevant in others. If the success of your product is dependent on timing, you must make decisions to shorten shipment time. The next best option is to use air shipment, especially courier shipping. FedEx, DHL and UPS have simplified systems and can transport your things from point A to point B faster than anybody else. But of course, the service comes at a steep cost. If the quickness is worth the expensive price, consider utilizing TDP in co-terms to avoid custom delays. Cost versus speed. When time to market is less of an issue, you must choose whether to emphasize cost or speed of delivery. For exports, I will classify the delivery times into three categories. Air courier, less than 10 days. Air freight, less than 20 days and sea freight 20 to 60 days. Naturally, faster delivery times cost more. Next is hybrid shipments. If you have a time-sensitive Amazon product launch but a limited budget, the ideal solution is to schedule hybrid shipments. In a nutshell, this involves dividing your batch of items into freight and sea freight. To save money, you can ship 30% by air to get the ball rolling and sales flowing in, then the remaining 70% by sea. If you are lucky, you should have a smooth resupply and be able to sustain sales velocity more cost effectively. This method also works nicely when supplies are running low. Step 2. Conduct keyword research for your listing and PPC advertising. Just like Google, Amazon is a search engine because it shows products based on what you type in. As a result, sellers must target search terms or keywords for which they wish to get indexed. The more sales you make for any keyword, the higher your product will rank in search results. When it comes to product launches, I prefer to keep few points in mind, dig into what your competitors are ranking for, start by understanding what is presently working for you, you want to know what consumers are looking for and which items are already ranking high in search results for each item. This is best done with Sunwrap's keyword tool. Assume you are launching a sling bag. Examine your competitor's listings to see which keywords they include in the beginning of the title, the rest of the title, the bullet points and the description. Even though no one knows the exact ranking factors for the A9 algorithm. It is generally accepted that you should put keywords in the order as I discussed earlier. Consider both short tail and long tail keyword options. You could absolutely look at search terms like purse and women's bag for the sling bag example. 
Consider long tail keywords as well. These are phrases with more than two words like sling back for women. These long tail keywords have a lower search traffic in general since most people would look for sling back. However, reduced search traffic frequently means lower competition. Targeting a long tail keyword and ranking first in search results may be quite beneficial at times. This is a simpler approach to obtain your first sales in a competitive niche and once you have enough sales, you can optimize for more competitive keywords. Consider this if you are having problems ranking for the massive money-making keywords. Choose the search terms for which you wish to be ranked. You have done extensive keyword research on your competitors' listings as well as a variety of search terms both short tail and long tail. You are now ready to select the most relevant keywords for which you want your product to rank. Again, start your title with the most important keywords, then work your way down to the rest of the title, bullet points, description, and even the backing search terms. Step 3. Get your Amazon listing ready for launch. Your products are on their way to Amazon, therefore now is the time to make a 10 on 10 completely optimized listing. Product title. From a keyword standpoint, the product title is the most significant aspect of your listing. The Amazon consumer and the Amazon ranking algorithm are both important here. Customers will see your title in the search results, look at the image and consider your pricing. They will click on your listing if it appears promising to them. A high conversion rate from clients purchasing your goods will propel you to the top of the rankings. Titles should find a balance between keyword stuffing and descriptive writing. Next is product images. Spend money on expert photography and editing. Capturing your own images and photoshopping them manually works if you have a good amount of talent but is still quite time consuming. You should be better off outsourcing these activities so that you can focus on sailing that ship that is your business. I suggest going for 3D rendered imagery. Items using 3D renderings convert at a greater rate than comparable listings with traditional photos. Furthermore, having a 3D model file allows you to make new photographs such as exploded schematics, color changes, and so on. Next is bullet points. Your excellent title and image selection brought a customer to your listing, but now you must close the deal. Customers will get closer to the Add to Cart button with the help of exceptional bullet points that are helpful to them. Bullet points are your opportunity to convince potential buyers why your product is ideal for your needs. Long hazy points appear to be a thing of the past. It is preferable to employ simple points that enlighten the customer without presenting a wall of information as this enhances the possibility that they will read it. Include keywords that make your product relevant to the queries that prospective buyers are definitely looking for. Next is A plus content. A plus content formerly known as enhanced brand content is required when launching a new product on Amazon. You must be a member of the Amazon brand registry to be eligible for A plus. This necessitates the filing of a registered trademark which might take months or even years if there are objections. So get started on your trademark application as soon as possible. Next is backing keywords. Remember to include them in the seller central while making the listing. Stick to the character limit and avoid using the punctuation such as commas uh, which is a waste of valuable characters. Always make sure that your backing keywords are indexed it will help to improve the discoverability of your listing. Step 4. Boost launch traffic and sales. When your product ultimately appears on Amazon, keep the following considerations in mind. First is product reviews. Product reviews are extremely important as they provide authenticity and credibility to online purchase. Buyers can gain a general impression of the product's perspective 
through the reviews. They can make a more informed purchase if they know whether an item is comfortable, true to size and of high quality. Reviews are essential not just during the purchasing process but also in driving sales, profits and even important information. A product insert can be used to convince buyers to post a review for you. In my experience, inserts that provide some form of value such as a quick usage tip works well. You can enhance sales and the chance of more reviews by offering product giveaways and discounted products. The most efficient technique to increase your review rate and after purchases is definitely through an email follow-up. Amazon merchants struggle with generating early reviews for new products. Amazon's early reviewer program and even Amazon Wine program is a relatively quick and easy way to add product reviews to a listing. Additionally, you can reach out to users who reviewed similar products or solicit the top Amazon reviewers. Next is enhance external traffic. This has a lot to do with brand awareness. Try to get as many people from outside the site to visit your listing as you can. This may be from blogs you have been publishing, leveraging social media, affiliate marketing, deal websites, Amazon DSP or an email list you have been building. I have created a detailed guide video on best strategies to push external traffic to Amazon listings and I've pasted the link in the description below for your reference. While Amazon has a large quantity of traffic overall, your product will not appear in the search results at first. Orders generated outside the Amazon platform will begin to create the sales velocity. This will signal Amazon that your product should begin to move up the search results. However, keep in mind that these sales may not be connected to specific consumer search terms because they came from elsewhere. This is why you also need on-platform sales which takes us to PPC advertisements. Amazon PPC ads are the most effective paid advertising option for launching a product. First, it offers on-platform sales which will start linking your product to certain search terms and boost your organic ranking more than an on-off-platform sale. Second, it enables you to generate keyword conversion rate data. Third, it has shown to be more cost efficient than other sponsored advertisements for sellers. Amazon PPC is a vast and complicated subject, but to get started, I recommend running an automatic campaign with a high budget to generate useful performance data. Allow this to run for two to three weeks before switching to manual campaigns with broad phrase and exact keyword matching based on the data you have gathered. Next is Facebook Ads. To run Facebook Ads, you must first create a Facebook page for your company or your product. To avoid violating Facebook's terms of service, direct your advertising to a landing page that links to an Amazon listing. Alternatively, send them to your brand's website and try to convert them for product sales. Email addresses or even both. Avoid direct links to your Amazon listings. To capture customer information, add a Facebook tracking pixel to your website or landing page. You can then utilize this in an advertising campaign using look-alike audiences to guarantee that your ads are reaching to the right people. Next is Google Ads. Google Ads are just like Facebook Ads may be used to drive people to your listing via landing pages or even the brand website. This has proven to be the most expensive of the three solutions, making it mostly unsuitable for Amazon product launches. If your product is appropriate for Pinterest advertisements, you should think about them. Step 5. Increase long-term brand awareness. Coherent brands with a dedicated following will outperform a short and long-term on and off Amazon. So every responsible seller should be doing just that, building a brand. Here are some of the greatest approaches. First is influencer marketing. Using influencers is extremely beneficial not for raising awareness, but also for introducing new products. 
using an influencer, you may generate massive quantities of attention to a listing in a short period of time. This is excellent for increasing early sales velocity. You can find them on any social media platform or you can even connect with influencer marketing agencies who work with such micro-influencers for any barter or even paid campaigns. Next is Instagram. Instagram is a great medium for publishing content. An extremely active user base enables rapid and consistent updates to your network. I would recommend paying someone to manage your Instagram account because it is time consuming to handle it by yourself. Next is Pinterest. If your product is extremely visual, this is an excellent choice for building your brand. Art, fashion, fitness and nutrition are examples of successful niches. Next is YouTube. Let's just say on YouTube, there's something for everyone, right? It functions as a search engine on its own and is indexed by Google as evergreen content and if your videos are popular, it may even generate extra income. Create a YouTube following that you can direct your Amazon listing when you launch your product. Give your YouTube community a real value consistently and for free. Unboxing videos, product reviews and product comparisons are some content options for product launch day. Now that you know what must be done to launch a new product, I hope I have addressed your question how to create a marketing strategy. Of course, it is you who will decide which marketing strategy to use in each circumstance. But I can say that long term success is achieved by the combination of different methods. And that's it for this video everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. We have published an in-depth blog on ad strategies for new product launches which you can find in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Salara. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topic. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And until the next time I see you, happy selling!